Hi and welcome to part two of the uh, Rapid Rig tutorials. In this section we're going to be talking about uh, the user interface uh, for creating the dummies and actually adjusting the dummy rig. So I'm going to go ahead and load up uh, my interface and here's where I can set the number of uh, fingers and toes for the character. Um, I'm going to make it a standard human. He'll have uh, four fingers and thumbs and then he'll also have five toes. Uh, if your character is wearing shoes or socks or something and you don't need all the toes, I recommend just going with one. Um, if it's an alien, you may need three or however many you need. Uh, you can do up to ten uh, appendages per hand or foot. And once you've decided on those, go ahead and create your dummies. And so these are just NURBS curves which we can uh, arrange to fit. Uh, your character may be really large or really small uh, compared to this, so you may have to uh, adjust the size of this to fit uh, your character as it is right now. Um, you do want to make sure that your character is facing <clears throat> on the on the Z axis, facing forward. Uh, otherwise this won't work for you. So you probably have to reorient your character if you modeled it a different way. So let's put it back to one to one. Uh, and so what you can start doing is uh, adjusting this to fit your character. Uh, I don't have one for the sake of this tutorial, um, but just to sort of show you, these are where your joints will align. Uh, I can adjust the scale, uh, rotation, I can move things. Uh, on the elbows and knees, you'll see there's an arrow. This uh, shows you the direction that the elbow will kind of bend. So it's basically pointing, if you were to rotate, uh, if you were to bend at the elbow, uh, it's basically the direction that your elbow would point, um, and that that's the rotation that it's going to pivot around. Uh, we have the same thing for the knees, so basically the knees bend forward, so this is the direction the knees will point as they bend. Uh, so you can go in and adjust, you know, the size of the upper body. Uh, you can move back, adjust these as you need. Um, these are your shoulders, maybe. It's a, your character is more broad-shouldered, maybe has really long arms. Um, I recommend just a, uh, adjusting one side and then you can uh, mirror from left to right to the other side. Uh, and then if you need to, you can go and adjust that side and mirror right to left. So this is the character's left or right side that you're using. So right to left means mirroring his right side to his left side. Um, I'm just going to load up a character I've kind of adjusted already just to put him in in a less than normal default pose just to show you that the script will actually work for characters set up like this. Um, you can also reset the pose as well um, if you want to start fresh. Uh, you can undo most of this stuff as well. Um, if you've decided now, so we've basically got all this stuff set up and uh, when you go to generate your rig, we'll talk about all this, but if you're not happy with how this is or say you um, there's an update uh, and you want to get the latest version or uh, you're not just not ready to rig yet, you can go ahead and uh, delete your dummies and come back to the interface at a later time. So this concludes uh, part two of our tutorial.